Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight I'm here to talk to you about the mom influencer Amber Massey. This speaks to a bigger message, but I'm going to tell you what she got herself into and my thoughts around it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, guys, so one of you amazing subscribers sent this to me tonight and I was getting ready to shut it all down and I had to stop what I was doing and tell you guys about this. What I do usually is I'll see something like this and I look at the bigger picture. And typically when you do that, it opens up a bigger conversation as to these issues that these mommy vloggers, family vloggers get themselves into. There's usually a bigger issue at hand and with this, I think that it goes to show how everything is fake, everything is phony, everything is meant to look like a pretty picture with a frame and a bow and glitter and sparkles everywhere. And that's just not what it is. That is not what most families are. It's also not anything that anyone should ever be comparing themselves to or looking at their life and trying to say, oh, well, this mom does this. I need to go buy that product or I should start doing that for my kids. Like. I've said it a million times, if your kids are loved, fed, nurtured, and have a safe shelter, you are doing great. All of the stuff that you're doing is just fine. If you're going to watch this content, it's one thing. I always wonder about these psychological effects that consuming this content for years and years and years from multiple influencers can do to someone who isn't making a million dollars from YouTube and sponsorships every year. Because there is some of that where even if you don't want to, you can start saying, well, maybe I need to buy that brand of clothes for my kids. No, you're doing just fine. You're doing amazing. So bravo to you and all the other moms and dads out there that are just doing their best to make sure that their kids are healthy and happy. I had never heard about this mom influencer until today, so I am not going to come to you guys and act like I know everything about her, but I'm going to give you guys a bird's eye view of what I see as an outsider who knows nothing about this family. I went through her Instagram, I spent about 20 minutes looking at some of her posts, I read this article, and I turned my camera on. So it looks like this happened about a week ago. It says, Amber Massey, family blogger and mom fluencer was apparently charged and released on Monday for adult Class C family V-word. I'll put it on the screen. According to Monsters and Critics, she was booked on Monday and released on citation. During a live Instagram posted this evening, she said her husband was on a lot of pain medication and that, combined with her family being there, started a huge drama that ended badly. The momfluencer explained that childhood trauma triggered by her family visiting combined with the stress of being a caretaker for her husband and children and pets brought some things to a head and that she is getting into counseling. With her husband next to her, she shared that she is naturally, she is a naturally positive person, but she is not perfect. I think that's pretty easy to understand. Amber told her nearly 1 million followers to know that I am working through some crap behind the scenes and I am actually still human. She, sh she then shared clips of her husband post-surgery walking up the stairs. So what's going on with her husband is that he just had back surgery. So I went over to her Instagram and I see that he's using a walker. He had the surgery. She has a bunch of photos of her kids her Instagram profile. I'll throw some photos up here with her children's faces blurred as I always do. It's very much basic mommy vlogger vibes in my opinion. The filters, the perfect hair, the kids that are in matching outfits, matchy matchy, you know, photo shoots, everything's great. The crazy thing with a situation like this is you hear the news break and you have all of these people who have followed this couple for years and this picture-perfect lifestyle that they are pushing out to their subscribers and making lots and lots of money on is all of a sudden, nothing is what it seems. And this is the thing that I've said about so many different family vloggers and mommy influencers and stuff is that 
if they were a little bit more transparent with their audience about, we're not perfect, this is what's going on. If you're gonna put your life out on the YouTube, be transparent about it. Because nothing is sunshine and rainbows all the time. And if these YouTubers would be a little bit more real and not so everything's filtered, we have a you know big new house and all of our kids are in you know, uh, homeschool or private school, if it wasn't so much that, I don't think that Jaws would hit the floor when something like this happens. Now, this is a very, very bad situation. It's bad for the kids, it's bad for the parents, and I'm sure that right now they're thinking, oh shit, our picture perfect image is gonna be exposed for, you know, not being picture perfect. And it's, you know, it seems like they have addressed it a little bit. And I don't know if this is a couple that only addressed it this one time and then they're gonna stay quiet and continue moving on in their picture perfect lifestyle. Time will tell. But the one thing that I will say, let's talk about this woman who allegedly did this action, whatever it was, to get arrested. To hear that she did this while her husband was recovering from back surgery, I think says a lot about her struggles and maybe what her personality is off camera, offline, because I could not imagine being so upset that I would hurt someone who is recovering from surgery. I don't believe in, you know, getting physical anyway, under any circumstances. But for her to do this while he's recovering, I have a lot of questions. So I really don't want to, you know, say what this might turn into because none of us know at this point. But the message that I want to drive home in this video is that there are so many of these couples who are putting this image out to the world and that's just not who they are when the cameras are off. And that could apply to actors and actresses, people in reality TV shows, anyone who has a presence online or on TV, this could be applied to. But the major difference that I see with mommy vloggers and family channels and stuff like that is that their job is to be relatable. They sell this, we're just a family, I'm just a stay at home mom, look at how relatable I am. They gain their following by putting out this phony fake BS and it breaks my heart for the women who eat it up. There are women and men who watch these channels and they buy all the crap that the um, people are shilling out to them. And they internalize this unattainable lifestyle and they will charge up credit cards and damn near put themselves into bankruptcy to try to mimic what they are being sold by these influencers. So at the end of the day, this is just another opportunity for me to remind anyone out there who is a parent, a guardian, a grandparent, a sibling who might be in a parent role, you are doing fine. If the child that you are looking after has a safe home, food, love, clothing, you're doing amazing. You do not ever need to look at all of this fake nonsense and think, maybe I should be doing that. Maybe my kid would be happier if they had, you know, whatever, these toys that all these kids are playing with. So I will check in on this story again once some time goes by and I will keep an eye on this from, from a distance. But like I said, I think it speaks to a bigger issue within mommy vloggers and influencers and family channels as a whole. And at the end of the day, we always have to remember, these people are popular because they have shown their kids to strangers online. 
most of them are not popular if it's not for their kids. And anyone that's okay with putting their kids out online for strangers to absorb and watch and you know, whatever else, it's all bad news. So you guys let me know, have you heard of this couple? Have you heard of her? Have you heard of him? What's the deal? Let me know if you know anything about them. She seems to be very popular, but from what I can tell, she's just like the rest of them. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.